Any questions or comments in English? <laughs> Sure, we could get vodka in here to interpret the question if you have a question in Korean. Any questions at all? Okay, here. Uh, how do you control your dynamic in your right hand? Oh, good question. Um, right now, I'm playing mostly with my thumb. Okay, so when I play with the with my thumb and I want it to be loud, I use I don't pluck the string. This is not a good sound. If you try to pluck the string out like this, the string will slap back onto the fretboard like this. You get that sound. That's not a good sound. But if you, if you let your hand fall through the string, then the string vibrates this way and it won't hit the fretboard. So you use the full weight of your hand and your arm and your shoulder to just drop. This is the, a nice full sound. Now it's weight and gravity pulls the hand through the string. You can see it getting ready on the string and then falls like that. Now if I play the second string it gets caught by the first string. But the concept is the same. Gravity will, let, will pull my hand toward the floor. It's the same for a chord. It's a loud chord. Now, if I want, if I want a soft chord, I just, I use a brush, very light brush. I'm just petting a little animal. Oh, it's so <laughs> like a whisper. And, and I don't put the weight on the string. The, those are the main two ways. Weight for loud and just a whisper for, for soft. Take the weight away for soft. That's the short version. Almost to your uh, video, almost to the song finger. Mm. What about the others? Uh, with the other fingers? The, uh, when you're playing with the, the first finger, the most important um, factor in volume is the speed of the hand, mm -hmm. not the pressure. Pressure does not help. Pressure, trying to Trying to push doesn't work. It's speed. If I have a slow strum, it will be quiet, slow. The hand moves slowly. If the hand moves quickly, it will be louder. But if the hand moves slow, it will be quiet. It's not a question of pushing, it's a question of Moving fast or moving slow will change the dynamic. Okay. Yeah. But there are lots of same notes in the clave. Mm -hmm. So what is it? What is the basis of choosing tamu? Okay. What is your basis? Choose tamu. You mean, for example, I could play it here, or I could play. It there are lots of same notes. Yeah, lots of same. You can find the same note in many places, or, or, right, the, the, many places to find the same note. I usually do this. If if a note is a melody note, then I like to put a finger on it. Because then I can, you know, mm -hmm. vibrate or do something, yes. add some character or personality to the note. I don't have to, but I can mm -hmm. if I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
But if it's open, then I, I can't do anything. So that is the, unless I go, <laughs> you know. So that's my, usually the basis for the decision. Mm. If it's melody note, then try to put a finger yes. on it. If it's accompaniment, if it's just supporting, then it's okay for it to be Fingernail? Um, it depends on the song. <laughs> the uh, fingernail, the fingernail is always going to have a bright sound. You know, this finger, the pad is always going to have a softer sound. Bless <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> you. <laughs> So if I'm playing uh, something, um, if I'm playing something aggressive or, or Spanish, <laughs> something that needs bright sound, then I'll use the nail. But if I'm playing something Yeah, of this thing, yeah.